All pedal, no gas. All right. What we'll do is we'll change, we'll change the side. You guys will be on this side, I'll be there. Hey guys, I'm here with Edison Future. They have two new prototype concepts for us to view. And these things look amazing. They're very impressive. And I'll let them introduce themselves and tell you where the ideas for this came from and what they can do. Because trust me, they can do a lot. So I'm David Lee, I'm the product manager in Edison Future. And I'm Anthony Soto, I'm the marketing manager for Edison Future. All right, guys. So this, as I understand it, is a bridge between designs in Italy and designs here? Yes, sir. Yes? Oh, wow. I can see a lot of the styling in there. It's just very high class. And looking at the van there, it's very utilitarian. Very nice designs with it. Uh, can you tell me what drove you guys to producing these two uh, vehicles? Of course. So our goal is always to provide electric sustainability options, mm -hmm. whether it's utility side or consumer side. Oh, okay. And um, we take into account that there's different needs for different consumers. So you can see here we have our van, which is a little more on the commercial side, and we have our electric truck, which is more on the consumer side. Yeah. Um, but with every, with every design, we're looking to create smart, innovative, bold designs to attract a consumer base. Well, congrats, because these are bold. These are very bold. And I'm seeing, so are they both the same kind of skateboard platform? Yes. Yeah? They okay. use the same chassis. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, the same chassis. So these uh, utilitarian vans, these commercial vehicles, will have the same amount of power, speed, and torque, and towing capacity as the commercial? Yes. Yes? Oh, nice. Now. When it comes to these uh, designs, I see that you're making a lot of use of the space in there. So yeah. the middle uh, cab is able to go up and turn into a seat, is that right? Yeah. So the middle seat in the front, mm -hmm. it, gives you, you, it lets you to close down as the armrest yes. and close up for the, uh, uh, the, the, the middle seat. Oh, nice, okay. And uh, what are the features of this car in the interior? We since it's in the early oh, stage, it's that's the early too detailed, stages. so we don't oh, have that. Okay. Right. Yeah, Android no, Auto is standard. Yeah. And this and is why to... we are attending this show. We want to hear some voice from the yeah. customers. Of course, we'll, we'll take well, consumer feedback. I and did we will... see earlier you had a lot of people coming up to this. It's just striking. Right. You know, it, it drew me in, definitely. So uh, can you tell me what went into some of the uh, choices? Because I'm looking at a design here in the back. Mm -hmm. It looks... Yeah, it's uh, an armadillo design. Armadillo so design. That actually yeah. uh, extended and covered the whole bed in the back. Oh, okay, so that becomes the bed cover. Right, so that solar panel and also the top roof. Yes. Also the one in the uh, dashboard. Yeah. That gives you total, I mean, uh, uh, extra 26 to 30 miles per, per, uh, per day. Per day? Oh, wow. It's based on the sunlight in California. Oh, that, okay, okay, yeah. California has enough sun to spare. Yeah, and we'll, we'll take up all of that. Yeah, we'll take and, all of that. And yeah. we did the research that average commuter has uh, about 30 miles per day. That is, that's my commute. I'm driving a, an electric car that gets about 238 miles mm -hmm. per day, and I charge it maybe once a week mm -hmm. if I'm, you know, really using it. But yeah. It's, this car seems like it gets a lot of miles. How, how far does it go? So we have single, dual, and tri-motor mm -hmm. starting from 300 up to 450 miles per, per charge. Yeah. And also oh, wow. uh, we have a single motor for 400 horsepower, wow. tri-motor tri up to uh, 800 horsepower. 800, so this thing's gonna fly. And the towing power comes uh, from uh, 6,000 up to 11,000 pounds. I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around that a little bit. It's, it's, you can take a lot. I could probably drag my house in the back yeah. of this. Yeah. Now, how much uh, speed is the zero to 60? So the so, tri-motor from zero to 60 is 3.9 seconds. And the correct, motor, yes. And even wow. if you go with a single motor, you're looking at under six seconds. Um, for a vehicle 60. this big, correct. Man, I, I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna feel like I'm in a car chase scene. Right. I mean, Vin Diesel minute. really <laughs> would be excited about this yeah. one. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to keep him away from my car if I get one of these. This is really great. And I'm seeing that you have mood lighting 
across yeah. the trim of the car? Yeah, the ambient light, yes. Ambient lights, okay. And wow, what other features do you have inside? I'm seeing multiple cameras. Right, that's for side mirror. And mm -hmm. that's for, uh, also we have HUD, the heads up display. Yes. That kind of help you uh, driving safety. So you know, oh, most wow. of the car, on the right, the central mm -hmm. console is on the right side. Yeah. And kind of distract their attention to the driving. Mm -hmm. So we put that in front to help the driver to be better uh, safety. In, in oh, so directions road, will yeah. come in front of me instead right. of to the side. And on the tech side, we have a 17.5 inch monitor. Mm -hmm. So very wow. clear view of your what you need to see. Yeah. But also we have utility on the go boxes here. So I'm not sure if you can see, but oh, that's yeah. actually a toolbox. That's a toolbox. So um, yes, so utility on the go, mm -hmm. um, whatever you need to fit in your toolbox. Mm -hmm. If you're a, you know, a worker using this yeah. truck, great. I yeah. always joke, I'm going to have my laptop and a notebook in there. <laughs> yeah. um, so whatever you need, it's, it's really utility on the go. So it's not made specific for one thing. It's made so that you could put whatever like I'm an artist, so I might want to keep my camera in there Your paint brushes, or my paintbrushes. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, that is, and it's a good size too. Yeah, and there's a, in every door panel you'll see one. So. Mm -hmm. And have you locked down the type of audio system that's going to be in here? I'm already thinking of just jamming out on the weekend, you know, <laughs> we, driving we by. Not, yeah, but we we do take into mind that this is a a vehicle that we want for the masses to be interested in. So yeah, we're, we're working with partners right now to better understand what the best yeah. system is we can provide this is fantastic and the fact that the armadillo style here pulls it out because when i first saw it i was like oh they're doing a callback to the 80s to those detroit muscle cars that has the the design with the uh, yeah. tethered uh stylings in the mm -hmm. back this is really really cool uh i like it i really like it and then so the back mirror is that going to be uh digital yes Yes. You mean a side mirror, right? Oh yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and in the future we're gonna have the autonomous drive. Okay. So that's gonna help you your safety and sensing the surrounding. Mm -hmm. Now, will autonomous driving be a feature included in it once it's out? Definitely. That will be an update later on. Yeah, since you know that we are gonna start delivering in 2025. During that time, the mm -hmm. uh, technology more uh, we'll mature. Move like yeah. At least level three. So this is going for 2025 then? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. So you guys are moving pretty swiftly. When did you start uh, developing these vehicles here? One year ago. One year ago? Yeah. Okay, Correct. so that's a good that's a good amount of time to figure it out and to put it out there. But also understand, Phoenix Motor Cars has been developing medium-duty electric vehicles for 17 years. 17. So we're not exactly oh. new yeah. in this game. Yeah. Yeah. This is our new brand. Okay. Yeah. And I like the brand. It is really nice, really cool. And the designs for your logo, I gotta admit, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> so this the orange motif. Is that gonna be like the baseline color that you're gonna roll with, or was that chosen to pop and catch eyes today? So again, we love being bold, mm -hmm. right? So our goal is to really attract people with our boldness, our innovation. So the orange color you see here is really just to generate some interest now will we have a product offering of course yeah um there will be other offerings obviously being a utility provider in a truck and van there are yeah. you know scaled down versions mm -hmm. that we would love to to offer to our consumers yeah. so as the coming years develop we'll be understanding what the consumer needs what their mm -hmm. wants are to best tailor those those needs to them well, 100 percent i'm loving the orange so please keep one for me <laughs> that way i could just uh be bold <laughs> in my uh endeavors on the road we'll you know? do. We'll so do. i would love to get a closer look at the car yeah. if you guys don't mind please do. oh, yeah, that would be awesome and thank you of course yeah. thank you appreciate it thank you so we're gonna take a closer look at this vehicle and i will have more for you later on take care guys This camera is a Lumix, and when you're doing shooting products or anything station, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. 4K, I'm using a wide-angle lens mm -hmm. so that I'll have enough breathing.